Welcome to Swiss Cheese Trails where I'm hiking across Switzerland on the Swiss Alpine Panorama Trail. This morning we're passing the Ara River which goes through Bern to the north of me and south. The next city is Thun and then after that we get to the Jungfrau region which is the mountains that we're looking at. So subscribe, tune in and walk with me in 360 degree video as I cross the country. All Switzerland. right, welcome to Swiss Cheese Trails. We are on another day, another hike. This is section 17 of the Swiss Alpine Panorama Trail. We are going from Musingen, where we left off on the last one. Excuse me while I get my notes here. Of course, I always have to log in, facial recognition. Uh, we are going from Munsingen, where we left off on stage 16, to Grigisberg. I'm looking down because I'm trying to get the pronunciation correct. Uh, we have a long day ahead of us. It's uh, only about 19 kilometers, but it's going to take six hours because there is over 3,000 feet of ascent ahead of us. Starting with this climb over this hill here. So we climb over the hill and come down into the next town, which is at the same level. So we're just going up and down. And then we go up. And we go up and up and up because we are going to start heading south and get into these Alps. Uh, the Bernese Oberlin, you're looking at them now. So excited we got a clear day. So I, I really postponed this section until I could guarantee some views and some better weather. And we're doing it on a Monday. We're not too far from Bern, so we're, this is a, a southern suburb. Uh, Bern is about 10 kilometers to the north if you jump in the river and go north. Remember, the river is flowing north, so downstream is, is north to the North Sea. And if I were to jump in a raft and I would then go up, I'm looking, I'm looking downstream, uh, I would go up to Bern uh, and I would, you know, float around the peninsula of Bern like thousands of people have done before me through the so 3,000 years of, of existence uh, of people being around here. It's a pretty important uh, area. So this is the Ara River Valley that we're in over here and Thun is the next stop upstream to the south of us if you're following along. Uh, Thun, what a great town that is. Uh, you know, I, there's a couple of castles in and around Thun and we get into the Tunse, uh, and at the end of the Tunse, which is the, it's the lake that feeds the river, is interlocking, and we get into the Jungfrau area. So, you know, we're looking straight ahead. This is really the Jungfrau area straight ahead. Uh, that's probably Eiger right in front of us. Uh, I haven't really checked out the peaks to confirm that, but we're looking straight south into the heart of the Bernese Oberlin. So Thun is about 17 kilometers. I could choose to go upstream. Yeah, that's upstream. I could choose to go upstream um, and go to Thun instead. One of the things I want to say about Thun, I know I've got film of it somewhere, but uh, the court gesture was invented in Thun, the concept of the court gesture. Uh, you know, he wasn't a guy making jokes like we've come to learn. Uh, but he was a, a guy that was part of the king's court, and um, uh, you'll have to watch my tune video to uh, to hear the better explanation. But I do remember it's been you know almost two years since I was there. I do remember that that was one of the fascinating things that I learned that the court gesture was invented in tune about what 700 years ago, something like that, a mere 700 years. All right, so let's let's knock this hike out. Let's get going. I'm going to do some film up top when we get into the farm area uh, in the meadows that are on top of this hill. I hope you've enjoyed your time on the Ara River. I have. I like the Ara River. And, you know, as a quick reminder, so the Ara flows north, the Rus through Lucerne that we passed, and the Limet, which goes through Zurich, which starts up at... Uh, well, that combines in Zurich with the Seal River. The Seal River starts up in Einsiedeln, up at Lake Seal. So we've seen these three rivers here, and they converge. Uh, uh, they converge north of here, sorry, uh, at the Rhine River, and create the Rhine, and continue to, to move up. 
So it's fascinating, and with the convergence of these three rivers, or right near the convergence of the three rivers, is where the Habsburgs' first castle, the first castle that they identified as the Habsburg name, that's where that castle is. And of course, the Habsburgs uh, were predominant family with uh, in this region and for the world for about 700 years, something like that. Started here in Switzerland in the 1100s and 1200s. Castle, I think, was built in the 1200s. I'm waiting before I go up the steps because I'm out. Of, I don't want to be out of breath. And then, uh, you know, the Habsburgs owned, you know, either owned or fought for half of the towns that we've walked through. Uh, Munsingen is no exception. The families that have owned this, like every 150, 200 years, a new family has owned this town until as recent as like 17 something or other, late 1700s, when finally it was purchased the town was purchased by the city of Bern so this is this area has seen their lords and uh, has, has lived under lordships for quite a long time fascinating European history all right talk to you later I'm going up the steps thanks for tuning in don't forget to subscribe this is gonna be a fun hike so make sure you subscribe and tune in tomorrow and uh, the every day this week so you can finish this out with me.